Man, this shit bomb. On the gas. Hey, you look up high, you shit. What's up, homie? Hey, look. Chop got to stay around your crib for a while, homie. That's cool? Yeah, man, it's cool. Shit's the best place for him anyway. Ha! <laughs> like it ain't nobody out there gunning for your black ass. Bullshit, nigga. Just take care of it, man, all right? All right, I got you, dawg.
stop Who happening to me. Who the fuck now to fuck my wife and my own dad? Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked the frick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! Okay, homie? What happened? Guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. The tennis coach? Oh, that's I thought you wanted to get this motherfucker. Who is dudes, homie? You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. Right ahead, man! The fuck is he doing? Pussy Beaver Bunch fucking hippie cock! Fuck, man, I think we lost his head. He lives somewhere up in the canyon. We'll find him. Ah, the fuck is he? It's this track here. Hey! He in one of these fucking houses! Yeah, keep your eye out. He left his car, check it out. Little pricks up there, look. Oh shit, Cole's doing all right for himself. Hey! Asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debts! Michael, fuck! You got the wrong idea, man! Hey, think the world owes him a living. There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comped the session, bud! Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud! I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand. On your face! Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, how fucking magnanimous. May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! No! And we'll see how you like when someone fucks with your shit! Well, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha-ha! <laughs> Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! Sorry, now, we wasn't already. Boom, give it some. Man, homie ain't grubbing outside tonight, dawg. Oh, hell yeah, homie. You know what time it is. Oh! <laughs> Trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. <laughs> now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Yeah, he not taking no housewives back to that motherfucker. Hey, it's a service to the fucking community. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. 
I was just hiding there. Get me upon. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <sighs> green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo! Fuck you! Whoa! Home. Martin? Martin Madrazo? That's what she said. Damn, dude's a kingpin, homie. Man, you better hope. I ain't hoping anything. The chick was hysterical. Chill out. That coach should be doing the Russian broad. Chick needs to chill the fuck out. Hey, man, that's some mean looking motherfucking essays uh, right behind me. You kidding me? Kid, can you do something? I'll try, man. Try. Santa, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach. I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Give me a phone. You! You're a dead one! Green light! Green light! Martin Madrazo, give you green light! Oh, I'm scared, lady. Just fucking terrified. <laughs> We got some heavies on us, homie. Oh, that was quick. All right, help me deal with this. I'll give it a go, man. Keep trying. All right, all right. Push the pedal, man. We gotta move. There you go. Shit, man! Get rid of him! Pop that dude! I got one! I think we lost him! Okay, we go back to my house and think about this. Wow. Shit! We did good! I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh, thanks! I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range, work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. You did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Mentally? Oh, man. I'm fucking excellent. My heart ain't fucked like that in years. Oh, yes. Fucking A, Bubba. Man, you sound kind of manly. You just been greenlit by the Mexican underworld ambassador to Los Santos. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh shit, I think we're about to find out. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. No. Franklin. Maybe hell, Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. 
Now maybe get him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo. It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. Ah! What did you prove an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the rebuilds, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range? <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you all right? Never better. So what now? <sighs> Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker.
shit? It's on, Sam. Is this really happening? Damn it! Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I don't know. I guess we've been having these conversations long enough that I, I can recognize a trigger when I see one. You know, shit that's gonna put me right over the fucking edge. Like my family, my son, <laughs> my daughter, my wife, especially my wife. I mean, they just set me right off, Doc. You know, there's been this episode. You know, actually it was a culmination of a series of episodes. I pulled this Mexican's house right off the fucking hill. I mean, I, I think I'm back in it, Doc. I'm back into life. I mean, I gotta make some money, and there's only a couple ways I know how to do it. You feel the need to explain your decisions, Michael. Take responsibility. So, any other violent urges, friend? Yeah. <clears throat> Even on the way over here, I think I killed someone. And you know what? I don't care. I'm sick, Doc. I'm a sick, hypocritical fuck. I agree. Which is why you should really bulk buy a batch of sessions. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been well. I mean, I've had thoughts, but I've been good. Ah, not a single problem. We all have thoughts, Michael. Not acting on them is real progress. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. You know, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where 
getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. Hell, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm, I'm sure gonna... you are, but that's really all we have time for. <sighs> See you next time. Okay. Go away. 
What? Yeah, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you! What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole! I can't believe you did that! That's my TV! You don't talk to me like that! I can't believe you... Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole! Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want? To be hit by your son? Yeah! No! I just want you to do something! Besides... Sit there! Eating! Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks, play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride? You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine, let's go on a fucking bike ride. Uh, fuck me. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just the thing to show you. This day was going so well until you showed up. You know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're lucky to even be allowed out of the house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. If I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. Jimmy. How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so... Unbelievably fuck faced. Don't push me. You're driving like a psychopath, Michael. Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think. I What's wrong with you? You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. I'm not the one who doesn't respect my fellow human being. No, not unless they're a spick, or a jew boy, or an ass munching homo. Oh, fuck this. Oh, there was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition. Witty? Really? And mowing someone... Are you and mowing someone down in the street? Hey, I never said you had learning difficulties, Jim. Well, I do, and you never cared. I just said that Dr. Freelander thought that maybe... You had problems relating to people. Relate to my asshole, old man. Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hey, you! Two bikes. Take your pick. Hello? Hey! Yo, thanks. Ah, shitty shit! If I beat you to the end of the pier, you're buying me a new TV! Mary. End of the pier! Fine! But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life! Give it up, Dad! You've got to see! In this kind of condition, a triathlon would kill you! If you like the beach so much, bury yourself out here! Jesus Christ, just call me when you're ready. 
It's like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat, the one that makes a young, impressionable girl drop her pants and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Shit. Dad! Oh! Take me out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno here. They shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, Mr. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Hey, Let's go. Those walls could talk. You think I do it? Hey! No! Hey! Shit, hey, Daddy. cool, man. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, hey! Ah, oh, man! I like that! What's problem? You're such a jerk! Come on! Dad, you dumbass! These guys are serious! Yeah, well, so am I! Talk to the scene of my fucking boat! Oh, motherfuckers! Get on! Now! I'm about to skin you alive! God damn it! Go! Shit! They're coming after us! Go into that outlet! All right! All right! They're shooting! They're effing shooting! We'll lose them if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Get away from them. Back up, you pricks. Oh. Come on, let us go!
Looks like this is the way out! Back off, assholes!
We'll lose them if we keep going this way. Who the fuck are these people? Oh, you know, TV people, celebs, serious drug dealers. Well, since when did TV people and drug dealers start hanging out? Come on, Dad, it's Los Santos. Get away from them. You're going to hit me, you psychos. Come on, let us go. Back up, you pricks! I can't believe I sort of had sex with you, you psychopaths! Hey, turd buckets! If you kill us, you'll be jailed, and the sea shark will be impounded! Looks like this is the way out! Gone? Cool. You see, it's okay. I'll take you back to Jim. It's not okay. It's terrible. I can't believe you did that to me. Whoa, whoa, chill out, babe. Now, what did you say? Yeah, no, no, no worries. It was a pleasure. I bet it was a pleasure. You're only pleased when you're being shot at. No, I meant. You don't have to thank me for saving your life from those maniacs! You didn't say that! You ruined it! There he is! Jimmy, you J-bag! You! You fucking asshole! Listen, he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. <laughs>